Can you make six nails stand on one nail without using any blue tack or any tape? Hello, my name is Isha Single and I'm a fourth year science and economics student from the ANU. And today we're gonna to try and see if we can make that happen. First week, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create like a little base, which is our one nail on which our six nails will rest. We've taken a little block you can use anything if you have an old jewellery box, an old watch box, anything where you can hammer a nail in. Remember to get parental or adult supervision and have someone help you out with this. Now that we have the nail hammered in, the next step is to try and see if we can balance the six nails on the one nail. Go give it a try now, pause this video and come back later. Here's a hint. Instead of trying to assemble it on top of this, try and see if you can create some sort of pattern onto the table on which your nails can balance on their own that you can take advantage of. Now, I hope you were able to try it and I hope you were able to do it, but we're gonna walk through it together because it took me a long time to get it. I'm sure you figured out some things by now, is that the nail is not equal. That is, one part of the nail is heavier than the other. If I'm holding the nails like this, with both the heads of the nails on one side, I know one side is going to be heavier. However, if I flip it around, then I know that both sides are going to be equally as heavy. We're now going to walk through one of the solutions you can do. There could be many, but remember that they all follow the same principle of ensuring weight distribution. So we're going to place one nail down horizontally, and then what we're going to do is we're going to give it legs. So we're going to give it two nails resting on it on opposite sides facing down. Then, to ensure that the weight distribution is balanced, we're going to take two more nails and have them facing upwards. This allows for the heads to be in the centre, which forms the heaviest part, but the tails to be facing outwards. Next, we're going to bring this all together and interlock it by taking the last nail and putting it on top, ensuring that the head of the nail is on the opposite side where the head for the previous central nail was. We're now going to push the nails slightly closer together to ensure that they get interlocked with each other. This solution allows you to lift the nails up with one hand. And then we will place this on top of our little one. And now we have it, our very own floating nail structure. As you can see, it's quite remarkable. All six of our nails are only balancing on the one head of a nail. There are two reasons why the structure stands. First is the weight distribution. We have, by virtue of having three heads on one side and three heads on the other, of nails that are of equal length and sizes, we have a structure that is symmetrical. This means that the center of gravity is right in the middle. However, a very unique feature about this model is that the center of gravity is actually outside the model and it's below where it is. This is the second reason why the structure stands, is because the center of gravity is below the object that's, that's supporting the structure from standing which in this case is the head of the nail. Because the center of gravity is below it, it's able to stand. We can, for instance, see with this ruler, which is on the table. However, the center for gravity of this ruler, because it's all equal, is somewhat in the center. However, this is above the thing that's making it stand, which is the table, which is why the ruler does not stand. Hence, we can see that the location of the center of gravity of an object is really important in helping it stand. So the center of gravity doesn't need to be exactly the midpoint of the structure. It can be above or below it, and it can be outside the object or inside the object. Because the center of gravity is below the structure, this structure is uniquely very stable. For instance, even when I flick it, it still stands. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something today. You can try experimenting further by changing the nails that you're using, trying longer nails, shorter nails, trying to place more heads on one side and less heads on the other, and seeing if that makes a difference into how your structure is able to stand.